Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on writing an improper fraction as a mixed number. Now an improper fraction is when we have a single fraction where the numerator is bigger than the denominator. And we want to convert it into something called a mixed number. That's where we have a whole part of the number and a fractional part of the number. And we'll see what I mean by that in a second. Now let's just say that we had seven halves of a pizza. What would that look like? So if I had two halves, that would be a whole pizza. If I had another two halves, that would be another whole pizza. If I had another two halves, I'd have another whole pizza. So I'm up to six halves of a pizza at the moment, but we have seven halves. So you can see that you have an extra half a pizza. Now, what's another way of describing how many pizzas we have? Well, we've got three full pizzas and a half pizza. So we could therefore write this as three and a half. And this is known as a mixed number because we've got a mixture of a whole number and a fraction here. Now you might think, is there a way we can convert this improper fraction to a mixed number without having to draw it out? And yes, there is. Now what we want to do is we want to see how many whole pizzas we can make up. And the way we could do that is just to see how many times two goes into seven. So if you just did seven divided by two, two goes into seven three whole times with a remainder of one. And therefore the mixed number, you put the three as the whole part, so three, and then the remainder you put as the numerator of the fraction the denominator will be the same as the denominator of the original fraction. So it'd be three and a half like that. So let's apply this method to 23 over four. We just do 23 divided by four. Now, how many times does four go into 23? It goes five whole times with a remainder of three because five times four is 20, but we still got an extra three to make up 23. And therefore this as a mixed number is, well we use this whole number of times for when it's 23, so it's 5 and the remainder goes to the top, remember, and then the denominator is the same as what we have there, and that is the complete method.